What's up you guys, this is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com. One of the awesome things about running all of your multi-tracks from our app Prime is that you can automate your entire set list using transitions. Let me show you how this works. So I have a set list on my iPad in Prime and I want it to automate through so I don't have to press anything on the iPad to trigger the next song or use a foot control or anything like that. I can just set it so it's automated and it'll go all the way from the beginning of the set list to the end. On the right hand side of the screen, there's a white arrow that says flow. And these are your transition options and how you want the songs to go from one song to the next. So the first transition option is a white arrow. And this is just the default transition. This means that when the song is finished playing, it's going to just stop. Let me just show you what this sounds like. So it's gonna play through the song. When it gets to the end, it's just gonna stop. That's the default. Now let's just say though, that actually what I wanna have happen is when it gets to the end of that song, it auto advances to the next song in my set list. So I'm just gonna tap on the transition and change it to auto advance. Now check it out. I'm gonna press play. Two, three, four. When it gets to the end of the song, it's gonna automatically go to the next song. So it went to the next song and it started playing it. So now for our second song, let's just say we're gonna want to have it overlap. So it's gonna transition to the next song, but we're gonna turn on the overlap transition. What this is gonna do is when it gets to the end of this song, it's gonna start playing the third song on top of the song that's currently playing. It's gonna overlap them. So this is the overlap transition. And here's what it sounds like. Let's go ahead and press play. So you can see right there, it just started the third song. Intro, two, three, four. So it was playing both of those tracks at the same time, overlapping them. Now, we're in our third song. Let's just say that what we want to have happen is when we get to the end of this song, what we want to do is we actually want to crossfade out of the song and into these pads that I have set up. So. Let's go ahead and turn on the crossfade transition. It's the two bars that go across each other like that. That's the crossfade transition. And let's go ahead and press play and I'll let you hear what this sounds like. Now it's gonna start crossfading here. Now it took a while for that crossfit to start. So one thing you can do, this is really cool with the transitions, is you can adjust the end times. So on that song, I'm gonna go to the end time adjustment here. I'm gonna move it back by about 10 seconds. Now let's go ahead and press play and hear what this sounds like. So you can hear that it started the crossfade sooner. That way there wasn't so much empty space at the end there. So now we're into our pad. Now let's just say we want to crossfade out of the pad into our last song. So I'm gonna turn on the crossfade option and we're gonna use something called crossfade on demand. What this means is that when we're in the pad, when I pressed the next arrow, it's gonna actually crossfade on demand. It'll start the next song and crossfade right into it when I tell it to which is really awesome. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna to go to this song and we're gonna hear it crossfade in to the pad. Okay, it's gonna crossfade now into the pad. Now we're in the pad. I could use this time to read a scripture or pray, share a testimony. 
Then when I'm ready, because I have the crossfade option turned on, when I press the next arrow, it's going to crossfade on demand and go into the next song when we're ready to. So here we go. Intro, two, three, four. And now we crossfaded into our last song. That's a really cool feature of Prime. So let's look at our last transition option. And I'm gonna cycle through the transitions to take us there. This one is called Trigger. What Trigger does is when it gets to the end of the song, the click is gonna keep going. This is for worship leaders who maybe you wanna continue doing the song. Maybe you wanna play another chorus or another bridge and you wanna continue playing with a click. Well, Trigger is a great option for you. So I just turned on the Trigger option and let me go and show you what this sounds like. So the tracks are coming to an end. And what's gonna happen is the click is now gonna continue forever until you tell it to stop. And this will allow you to continue to do the song, maybe do another chorus with your band staying on the click. So with Prime Transitions, you can automate your entire set so that it just flows seamlessly. No awkward pauses, no awkward transitions. It's all smooth and the worship flow just keeps going. So I hope that this helps you. Make sure you check out Prime in the App Store. It's a free app for Mac, iPhone, and iPad, and it is the easiest way to run your tracks in worship.